All right, hey guys. Um, in this video, I'm just going to clarify how we calculate elasticity. Um, because a couple of you had issues with uh, using the formula. Um, again, we're just going to go through a numerical example just to show you exactly how things are done. This is for in this video. I'm just going to be doing the elasticity of demand. Now, the same principles that would still apply to elasticity of uh, supply. Um, but always remember. Whenever you're using the formula, this one over here, these two have to be in percentage terms, right? So the change in Q percentage wise divided by the change in P percentage wise again. So you can't have unit values uh, divided by by each other. You've got to have percentage changes. And how do we do that? Let's have a look at this example that we can see in this uh, in this graph. So our old price was uh, 25 and the Q, associated Q was 20. Then new price became 20, so it decreased to 20. And now our new quantity has increased by 40, right? So the inverse relationship still holds. How do we calculate elasticity? Well, let's first look at the top term. So sorry let me delete that so the change in q percentage wise the to get the percentage change this is this is the formula that you have to use so it's always new take away old divided by old multiplied by 100 how does this work all right so in our case we'd have 40 take away 20 divided by 20 times 100 and this gives us um, this gives us a hundred right so this gives us a hundred percent all right what about what about price again change in price Percentage wise, that's new, take away old, divided by old times 100. And in our case, that would be um, 20, take away 25, divided by 25 times 100. And this gives you minus 20 percent note how we have the negative sign and because that's because the our new price is lower than the original one and again this tells you that there's an inverse relationship between p and q and if we go back to our curve it's obvious that as price decreases quantity demanded would increase and vice versa okay so finally to get elasticity percentage percentage and so it's 100 divided by minus 20 minus 5 right so if you want to know whether this is elastic or not the rule is if it's less than 1 it's inelastic if it's greater than one, then it's elastic. Now we always look at the absolute term, right? So you take this value, the five, the minus five, what's the absolute value of it? That's five, right? And then we'd apply this rule. So five is greater than one, and hence our demand is elastic. But always remember, you gotta include the negative sign whenever you're, um, whenever you're calculating the elasticity of demand because the relationship between Q and P is inverse. But when it comes to determining whether something is elastic or inelastic, you gotta take the absolute value. Um, so you end up with the positive term and then you compare that to the value of one. If it's greater than one, just like in our case, we get elastic demand. If it's less than one, our demand is 
in elastic. And that's it for today.